Hey folks, welcome back. So, a lot of us are spending more time indoors these days, and a few people have asked me if there's anything that grows easily on a windowsill or on a table with just a bit of water. And so, whether you want to start growing something now, since you have a bit more time maybe perhaps, or you want to start a little project with the kids in the house, or you just want to stretch your food that little bit further, today we're going to go over five things that you could very easily propagate and grow indoors. So, let's go. Before we go over today's five, I'm going to leave a list below with ones that I've already covered on the show. So by all means, feel free to click below and see a bit more. The list includes spring onion, pineapple, lemongrass, matrimony vine, malabar spinach, passion fruit, wild maracujas, peppers, sweet potatoes, honeysuckle. That's it. Okay, now today's number one, Spanish thyme. Also called Cuban oregano, Indian mint, or Mexican mint, this semi-succulent perennial herb is possibly the easiest plant I've ever propagated. All you need is a cutting with a note or two up top with a few leaves, though I have rooted cuttings the length of my thumb before with no problem at all. Change the water every one to three days. Within a few days, you should see some roots. It's punchy and pungent, and though I like to use it in marinades and salads sometimes, uh, it goes really well uh, in a GNT every now and again as well. So, number two, basil or basil. Whether it's Italian, Thai, or any other cultivar of any size, basil cuttings grow easily. Here's some of our Indonesian basil that's been in water for about two weeks. You can see it's just started rooting. Make sure there aren't any flowers on your cutting so it can focus on putting out new roots and shoots. Number three, leek. Like its relatives, the onion and spring onion, the bulb can be put in shallow water to root and that from it will shoot new greens. Here's a couple we put in water a few weeks ago. We can already snip the green shoots and use them. Uh, it's a nice chunkier alternative to spring onion and uh, you can do the same with onions as well. The green shoots are mild and totally edible. You just want to make sure to keep an eye on that water and change it every one to two days because it really can get funky and if you need to you can always peel off the outer skin as it gets wrinkly and deteriorates. It'll start smelling. You'll, you'll know when it's ready. You'll, you'll know. Ah. Number four, lettuce. The stem can go in some shallow water. Just make sure to not damage the heart of the lettuce. In a matter of days, you should see some new growth. Be sure to change the water frequently. Watch it grow, peel, and eat. And finally, number five, rosemary. You're looking for the younger shoots, not the older, woodier stems. With your eight to 15 centimeter cuttings, strip the bottom two thirds of leaves and put it in some water. Keep the leaves above the water line and keep it clean. Growing and propagating from cuttings in water is a great way to get your garden started inside the house. It's also a chance to get anyone you live with involved in a little project and an opportunity to stretch whatever food you have that might grow that little bit further for you and yours. Although, just make sure the plants stay clean, the cuttings stay clean, and the water stays clean. Otherwise, you're gonna be smelling some stuff, folks, that you may not want. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Please take care of yourselves. Happy growing. We'll see you next time.